Tactical backpacks are used for a wide variety of activities including travel, hiking, hunting, military, police and many others. Their rapid rise in popularity is in large part attributed to their size, appearance, practicality and unique features. Overall, the durability, accessibility and comfort of tactical backpacks are just a few of the things that set them apart from the more traditional packs. So without further ado, this is our list of the best tactical backpacks available right now. A pack built like the entire free world depends on it. Battle proven and engineered to endure the extreme demands of military and law enforcement applications. The Cyan Dynamic Pack delivers more than 1300 cubic inches of storage with a super sleek profile that'll go anywhere you can. With multiple rows of strike webbing on the back and sides, it can be worn as a standalone backpack or converted into a Pals Molly compatible pack that attaches to armor carriers and vests. It has a large main compartment, a beaver tail style compartment with nearly as much room, and a big zip pocket up front. Three tube ports and a hydration reservoir pocket accommodate the hydration system of your choice. Every feature down to the zipper pulls has been optimized for ease of use and versatility in whatever harsh conditions you're called to serve. By Blackhawk. Designed from the ground up with MacTac instructors, our new All Hazards Prime Backpack and Ammo Mule Satchel stand at the ready. The All Hazards Prime features an internal padded laptop compartment, a hydration or armor compartment, and a front admin panel with large shove it area. The main internal compartment will accept two fully loaded All Hazards Ammo Mules for a total of 20 AR magazines. The front organizer panel feature zips fully open to reveal a full web platform and tear out mesh pouches for first aid or other items. Side mounted pass through pockets offer storage for a baton or other gear and conveniently comes in either black, sandstone or tack OD. This is the Mystery Ranch 2 day assault. It's a 27 liter pack loaded with features for travel or everyday carry. External features on this pack include dual water bottle pockets on both sides, dual front compression straps, molly webbing on both sides, fully adjustable Futura harness, and a removable waist belt. The lid also has two separate compartments secured with weatherproof urethane zippers, as well as loop Velcro for morale patches. Access into the main compartment of the bag is through our signature three zip, which allows the user to simply rip open the top or use the center zip to gain access to the main bag. Internal organization includes two zipper detail pockets on each side, as well as two long vertical pockets for additional hydration reservoirs should you need them. There's a padded laptop sleeve on the body panel, as well as a separate divider for a tablet on the front. The laptop sleeves also comes with a tab to hang in a hydration reservoir on the body panel. Laptop or tablet can either be accessed from inside the bag or through the long urethane coated zipper along the body panel. The two day assault comes in two sized yokes, either a small medium or a large extra large and is available in four colors, coyote brown, forest green, foliage and black. And to scale, I'm five foot 11. Rush Series Family Backpacks. We have 12, 24, and the 72, or another way to think about this is a three day, a day, and a half day backpack. A lot of you guys are probably asking how big of a backpack do I need? And that's what I'm gonna try to answer for you. You're gonna get accessory pouch up front, you're gonna get a variety of places to store stuff, and a variety of zip pockets across all three of these backpacks. Each backpack is going to offer you an ability to have another storage pouch. It's a small individual pocket that has a mesh pocket uh, and just an open space for accessories. The biggest thing that's going to change across this line of backpacks is size. The 72 is going to offer you the most amount of space per pouch per zippered pocket. It's going to come down a little bit on the 24, down a little bit more on the 12. The 24 opens up. You're going to have the mesh pocket so you can see what's in there. The laptop storage area. It's got a good uh, little retention system and this is your sunglass pouch accessible just above the yoke. 
padded to protect your lenses and your goggles. And all three also, while we're right here at the carrying handle, give you the ability to route the hydration hose. The front end of the pouch got three pockets. Two of them are mesh. One of them is an enclosed nylon pouch. Let's talk about the back. First and foremost, you have the yoke. It's got awesome padding. It's spread wider to help you push that load across your shoulder. All three of the backpacks have a chest attachment point and are adjustable for a variety of uh, heights and sizes. Underneath the yoke, you have a padding and air channelization system designed to not only keep the backpack in place with some friction panels to help with the ventilation. One additional thing that you're gonna have here on the 24 is an introduction of a side pouch where you can store the Nalgene bottle, Tactical World, you can put an M4 magazine in there. And then when we move from the 24 to the 72, the main design difference you're gonna notice is the shove-it pouch, which is on the outside. I like to stuff down jackets in here. When I'm getting ready to go to the gym, I'll throw everything I'm gonna wear at the gym, my, uh, my tennis shoes up on top, and you're ready to go. One difference I am gonna highlight as you go up in size to the 72, because the load is probably getting a little bit heavier, being able to put some of that weight onto your hips in addition to the shoulder, which is gonna help you carry a heavier load for longer. That's why this bag comes with the, the lateral straps. If you choose not to use that, as some people do, it's fine. Condor Solvig Gen 2. All right, guys, let's take a look at this bag. Up here at the top, we have a Hypalon reinforced grab handle. We have a couple quick access pockets for any of those important items. One of them just happens to be fleece line for your sunglasses or any electronics that you don't want to get scratched. We have this beaver tail here. On this side, it's laser cut. This thing is also completely removable, so you can take it off. On the other side, it has a small pocket there with a zipper. You can also run it without it, and this is what it would look without the beaver tail. On both sides, we have side pockets here for any organization, for pens, notepads, anything like that. It will also accommodate any standard size water bottle. Now moving to the back, you can see we have that standard Condor airflow system that we all love. It has the nice Condor shoulder straps, contours to your body, an adjustable sternum strap, and an adjustable and removable waist strap. Also, when you unzip this, we have loop attachments for any CCW, and it's also hydration bladder compatible. Now 
Now moving to the inside of the pack, the main compartment is pretty cool. When you unzip it halfway, it feels like a top loading pack, but then you can unzip it the rest of the way for a clamshell opening. The beaver tail, as I had mentioned before, is completely removable and reversible. You can run it on one side with a laser cut molly, or on the other side, which is more slick with one zipper pocket. 